Welcome to Red Light Method's group power plate class. Go ahead and grab an exercise mat that's hanging on the wall and then grab one set of dumbbells and head to your power plate. As long as you're clear to jog or run, then you're medically clear to do a power plate class. If you want to take it easy, we have stools all throughout the studio. Go ahead and grab a stool and pull it up to the power plate. And that's an option if you just want to hang out on the stool and place your feet on the power plate. You could follow along that way and it's going to be your most gentle option. So always listen to your body, honor your body, and we give lots of options and modifications throughout class. All right, you guys, so the power plate has three different levels of vibration. I encourage you to start on the relaxed setting because that is the nicest, most gentle setting. The next setting is strength, and that's an intermediate level. It has a slightly stronger vibration. And the most intense setting is the massage setting, and that one's very intense on the vibration. So it's really important that you listen to your body, you start off slow, and we gradually increase the intensity of your classes. So we want you to stay safe and to get strong in a healthy way and work within your means. All right, have an awesome class, you guys. Welcome to class, everybody. Go ahead and grab a rubber band and a tube from the black box in front of your power plate. We're gonna use these in class. So just strap them around for easy access. We're having fun with rubber bands in this series. And then grab the round rubber band and we're gonna carefully place it around our thighs if you'd like. You don't have to do this, but it definitely helps. It's more fun. Pull the strap around your thighs and then try to make it as flat as possible so it's not rolled. Now go ahead and hit start. Awesome. And we're gonna bend both knees and then lift one leg behind you and alternate. So you're kicking the leg back. Engage your glutes, engage your core and your abdominals. Keep a soft bend in your knees throughout standing on the power plate and keep the weight towards the ball of your feet. If we put the weight too much into our heels, it's gonna shake our brain and that's a little uncomfortable. So if you just shift your weight forward to the balls of your feet, it's gonna be much more comfortable. Good, just kick your leg back and switch. Pay attention to your shoulders. Those shoulders tend to creep up by the ears, but we wanna glide our shoulders down away from the ears, widen at our collarbone. Awesome work. Make sure you're breathing and engage your abdominal belt. So we wanna pull our abdominal wall in three dimensionally towards our spine to help engage our core. You guys are doing great. We're almost finished up our first minute of warm up. Awesome, go ahead and hit repeat. We're gonna do the same thing, just now three kickbacks. So go kick, kick, kick and switch. Kick, kick, kick and switch. Use your breath. Nice work. The power plate is so amazing for you. It's one of the most amazing advancements in exercise science. There are tons of studies. So if you ever feel like you wanna nerd out on the technology of power plate, go to powerplate.com and click science and you could read the different research studies on them. Great job, you guys. Three kickbacks and switch. Use your breath. 10 minutes on the power plate is almost equivalent to a 30 minute jog. So this 25 minute class is almost like a 90 minute workout. It's so amazing for you. Keep those knees bent and the weight towards your toes. Good, kick, kick, kick and switch. You guys are almost done, you're doing awesome. Great job. All right, guys, great job. We're gonna move into lower body next. So keep that rubber band around your thighs and here we go. All right, hit repeat. We're gonna bend our elbows, place our head down, lift your right leg up, soft bend in the left standing leg. Weight towards the ball of the foot and circling our right leg in one direction. Small circles, check those shoulders. We wanna pull those shoulder, down, shoulder blades down away from the ears. Pull up on your abdominal wall. So small circles, lifting that leg up as high as you can. As you progress with this, you're gonna notice the leg's gonna to wanna to drop and that's okay. But if you can, lift the leg up as high as you can. Small controlled circles. Try to really focus on the circles being a perfect circle. Sometimes they'll feel kind of choppy like an octagon and that's okay. Great job, you'll definitely be feeling both glutes working, the standing leg as well as the gesture leg. All right, hit repeat, 
same leg, we're going to circle the other direction. Good, small circles, the other direction, small and controlled. So you want to think your core is completely stable, is just that leg is reaching out from the hip through the toes, drawing a circle, a smooth and perfect circle. Nice shoulder blades, pulling those down out of the ears. Collarbone is wide, use the breath. Don't forget to keep a soft bend in your standing leg and the weight more towards the ball of the foot to prevent that vibration in the head. Great job. Connect to those, the core ab muscles again, tightening the abdominal wall three-dimensionally. This is a great exercise. All right, good job, you guys. Let's go ahead and hit repeat, other leg. Here we go. Awesome, other leg reaches out, little circles. And you might notice a difference between your left leg and your right leg, and that's okay, it's totally normal. We always have one leg that seems to circle better than the other. Keep lifting that leg up as high as you can, trying to keep it parallel to the ground if you can. Reach out long from your hip through the toes. Nice, controlled, small circles. Use your breath. Reminder to engage your core and those abs. Just check in on your shoulders. They like to creep up by the ears like earrings, and we don't need shoulder earrings. Good job sliding those shoulders down, lifting up on that abdominal wall. You guys are doing super awesome. Definitely feeling this in the glutes right now. Woo, okay, go ahead and let's hit repeat, other side, or well, same side, circle the other direction. You know what we're doing. Good job. Circling the other way, those perfect circles. Use your breath. It's amazing how effective this is at getting the whole leg and glute area really activated. Good, nice shoulder reminder here, pulling those away from the ears down towards the back pockets of the pants. Good, try to lift that leg up a little higher if you can. We're almost done, but take a break if you need to. You can shake it out side to side. It really does burn. Good job, you guys. You can do it, just a few seconds left. Awesome, good job. All right, guys, we're moving into block three now, which is the combo full body block. All right, here we go. Go ahead and grab the red rubber band and we're gonna hold it. Hit repeat, here we go. So we're gonna have one arm up, one arm down on a diagonal, small pulses, and we're pulsing at our knees and our arms. So we have one arm elevated, the other one's down. This one's kind of like a funky dance. So you're Pulsing it, both the knees and the arms. Pulse it, pulse it. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Engage your abs, draw those shoulders down. Make sure your collarbone's nice and wide. Pulsing at the knee joint, as well as pulsing with our arms and shoulders. This is really effective. Engage your abs and core and use your breath. Breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Great job. You guys are doing awesome. All right. All right, let's go ahead and press repeat and other side. So the other arms up, the other arms down, little pulses. Use your breath, pulsing at both the knee joint and the arms and shoulders. You can always adjust the tension on the rubber band by bringing the hands in closer to make it harder or taking the hands out wider to make it a little nicer. Good, pulsing at knees and the arm and shoulders. Use your breath. Pull your belly button in deep towards the back. You guys are doing great. 
Again, reminder to keep the weight towards the ball of your feet. Just to prevent that, that violent vibration in the head. So keep, always keep your knees bent and the weight slightly towards the toes. Awesome work, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and ditch the rubber band from our thigh and set that red one back into the box. And then we're gonna take one foot on the power plate, grab the tubing. Great, it helps to have it underneath the black handle part. So we're gonna go ahead and hit repeat. Take the tubing into your hands, your arms are straight. You wanna be kind of close here. With straight arms, we're gonna pull the arms back behind the body as far as we can and then bring them forward. This one's called chest expansion. We want those shoulders down, the collarbones wide, arms are straight. Try to keep the wrist really straight too because the wrist is gonna try to bend here, but we wanna keep our wrist straight and in line with the forearm. Pull the straps back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and slowly straight. This one's really great for posture. It's helping to teach nice posture. We're expanding the chest. Good, the shoulder blades draw down away from the ears. Nice, strong, straight wrists as we pull the arms back behind us and slowly forward. It's a small movement focusing on the chest being wide, the collarbones wide. Awesome, and working mid upper back and posture muscles. Great job, you guys, this is a small movement. We're gonna switch legs and go to the other side. So hit repeat, same thing. So pull the arms back, slowly forward back and forward. Again, check with those wrists. They want to stay nice and strong. So no bend at the wrist joint. That's very important. Use your breath, connect to your abdominals, pull your belly button in tight. The big emphasis here again is that our collarbone is very wide. The breastbone is lifted. The shoulder blades draw down away from the ears. Nice tall posture. So we have a long swan neck. We don't have those shoulders up by our ears. And we're really keeping our wrists straight as well. You guys are doing great. Use your breath. Nice tall posture. Awesome. Great job, you guys. All right, guys, next we're going to go into planking on the floor. So grab a mat and grab a pad for the power plate to make it more comfortable for your hands. Now, if you can't get to the floor, that's okay. You could just omit this series if you'd like and just stand on the power plate with your knees bent if you don't want to do the planking. All right, so from the mat, we're going to grab our remote, hit one of the top two buttons. Okay, we're going to start modified. We're going to do a side plank, a rainbow stretch, come back to center, other side. So this is our modified warm up. Rainbow stretch, back to center. You could be on your forearms if you'd like. We're going to go into our modified side plank, warming up for the full expression here. Nice. Awesome. So doing whichever variation works for you based on your body. So we have many different variations. Side plank, rainbow, back to center. Side plank, rainbow stretch, lift the hips, back to center. Again, pick any variation that works best for you. Rainbow stretch, back to center. Awesome. Rainbow stretch, back to center. You guys are doing great. Planking is so amazing for you especially on the power plate. Everything's better on the power plate. Okay, grab your remote, hit one of the top two buttons, hit repeat for 60 seconds. Now we're gonna go into the full expression here. You're gonna go to one side, lower lift the hips, and back to center. Plank to one side, lower lift, back to center. Now you can always do the previous exercise if this is too much. Plank to one side, lower the hips, lift the hips, back to center. Again, take a break if you need to. Otherwise, we'll continue side to side on our hip dips. Good, lower lift, back to center. Plank, lower lift, good, back to center. Use your breath. Nice deep breathing. Check in with those shoulders and your abs. You have your core engaged. Lower lifting, and again, modify and honor your body. 
If you need to take a break, that's totally fine. You can go into rest pose. You guys are almost done. You're doing awesome. Great job. So go ahead and grab your remote. We're coming down. We're going into our tricep version here for the next 60 seconds. Place your hands on the power plate, scoot your bottom off, and we're going to go small pulses right at about 90 degrees. Use your breath and gauge your abs. The shoulders are down away from the ears. We're doing a little pulse right at the elbow joint there. Take a break if you need to. You guys are doing great. Nice deep breathing, small pulses at the elbow joint there. Definitely feeling the triceps here. Good, use your breath. And again, don't feel bad if you wanna take a little break here, sit on the power plate and stretch those triceps. This is an intense series. All right, you're almost done. You guys are doing awesome. All right, great job. Whoo, give yourself a little hug. Okay, we're gonna come down to our mat for core bridging and abs, block five. So lay down on your back and place your feet on the power plate, grab that remote. Awesome, we're gonna hit repeat, one of the top two buttons, and lie down placing the feet on, bridge up. So you bridge up to just your shoulder blades, not your neck. Begin hula hooping the hips one direction in a continuous circle. Awesome, so we're hula hooping the hips. This one feels nice. It's a nice circular kind of motion in one direction. So you're dipping the hip, circling it around, lifting and rotating as if you're hula hooping in Hawaii. Use your breath, pull your abs in super tight. Great job, just curled up to the shoulders. Never curl onto the neck for bridging. It's getting a nice circular range of motion. Great job, you guys. Nice deep breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, tightening your belly button into your spine, scooping and hollowing out that abdominal wall, activating all four levels or layers of our abdominals. Great job. Go ahead and press repeat. And here we go. We're going to lift back up into a bridge to our mid shoulder blade and hula hoop the other direction. So now we're circling the hips the other direction from our bridge. Great job, use your breath, engage your abs. So we're tightening that abdominal belt. Honor your body so at any time you can come down, hug your knees into your chest, use your breath. Awesome work, you guys. We're almost done with bridging and our hula hoop series here. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, bring your knees into your chest, extend your legs up straight, take both hands to the calves, take them to one leg. We're gonna flex and point the ankles a couple times. Take both hands to one calf, the leg's gonna scissor down, so two scissors, you're gonna scissor one, scissor two, and then circle the legs away and pause, grabbing onto the other leg, scissor one, scissor two, circle around and pause. So helicopter's a little tricky. Do the best you can, it's two scissors, scissor, Scissor, and then helicopter. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Scissor, scissor, and then circle the legs away from each other so the other leg is on top. Scissor, scissor, and then circle around helicopter. Other leg, grabbing on. Scissor one, scissor two, circle the legs around and again. Good job, you guys. And don't beat yourself up. Helicopter is a more advanced abdominal exercise. You can always take a break and do your best. Good, keeping that low back anchored, nice deep breathing. All righty, great job. Hug your knees in for just a moment. We're gonna go to the other side next. So now the other leg scissor. So we're circling the other way. Good, one, two, circle the legs around the other way. So this is a little bit of a brain thing. It takes a little focus. 
Good. So other leg scissors first, and then we're helicoptering the other direction. Use your breath. So scissor one, scissor two, circle the legs around, and then take on, grab to that calf. Good. You can always rest your head here if you need to. Honor your body. Again, take a break at any time. So this one, we're getting a little fancy with our choreography. Try not to kick your neighbor. Awesome. Scissor one, scissor two, and circle the legs around and pause. Good. Other side. Two scissors, and then the legs both go away from each other and then back into the scissor position. You're doing awesome. Scissor one, two, and then helicopter. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Awesome job, you guys. Great job on helicopters. Those are super tough. All right, you guys, we're going into block six, standing side body. All right, grab that rubber band. Here we go. Step on the power plate and be very careful as you place one leg into the rubber band and then the second leg. We want to pull the rubber band up to about mid-thigh level and get it nice and flat if you can. It's okay if it's wrinkled, but the flatter the better. All right, go ahead, hit repeat. Standing side leg, place your arm wherever is comfortable. We're going to do side standing donkey kick. So bend the knee in, kick it out. Lift that leg up as high as you can for this. Your forearm is resting wherever is comfortable for your height on the power plate. Draw those shoulders down. Use your abs. Use your breath. Pull the belly button in tight and nice wide collarbone with those shoulder blades gliding away from the ears. Bend the leg in. Kick it out. Lift the leg up as high as you can. The higher, the better. Good. Nice, deep breathing. Bend and kick. Awesome. You guys are doing great. You got that soft bend in the standing leg as always. Shoulders are down. Nice, wide collarbone. Good. Almost done on this side. Great job. All right, go ahead and let's lower down. We're going to switch sides, hit repeat, other side. Placing your arm on the power plate, lift the leg up, bend and kick. Lifting that top leg up as high as you can, soft bend in the standing leg with, again, the weight towards the ball of the foot some. Shoulder blades down, out of the ears. Connect to your abs and core. Pull the belly button in and th think of three-dimensionally tightening in your abdominal belt, all directions. Great. Lift that leg up as high as you can. You're almost done. Make it parallel to the floor and ceiling if you can. That would be amazing. You guys are doing awesome. Almost done with the side glute series. All right, you guys, great job, awesome. Now we're going into my most favorite block, block seven, which is stretching and centering the body. So if you don't already have a mat, grab a mat and line it up with your power plate. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start, take your left leg on, we're going into a minute long hamstring stretch. So square those hips up, keep your left knee all the way straight. Your toes are reaching back towards your nose. And so you can take your hands wherever is comfortable for this stretch. It could be on the power plate or on the handles, or you can just be upright with your hands on your hips. Adjust how far back you want to be on the power plate. We just want to think of reaching our heel forward, our left sits bone back, the left knees all the way straight. Lift up on your left patella or your left kneecap. Engage the left quadricep muscle. Good. And we're just going to stretch here. It's a glorious stretch and stretching on the power plate's amazing. There's many variations. So listen to your body. You could place your hands anywhere that's comfortable. So effective in stretching with the power plate. It really gets improves flexibility. All right. We're almost done with our minute long hamstring stretch. You guys, it feels glorious. We're going to flow right into a minute long hip flexor stretch now. So go ahead and hit repeat. Same leg is on. You're going to jump the back leg back further have a bend in that front left knee. So you're feeling this stretch throughout the hip flexor on the right side. Take your hands anywhere that's comfortable. 
So you want to make your back leg straight, squeeze your back leg glute and pull the belly button in and you're going to feel a deep stretch in that hip flexor on the right side. Good. Again, your hands can go anywhere that's comfortable. I have my hands on the power plate, but you can hold up higher if you need to, wherever feels comfortable. So we're stretching the hip flexor muscle, which is in front of the hip on the right side. So the more you squeeze your right glute and pull your belly button in, the bigger the stretch will be on that right hip flexor. Good. Use your breath. Pay attention to those shoulders still and adjust anyway. We're almost done with our minute long hip flexor stretch. Super glorious. All right, guys, we're going to go to the other side. So hit repeat and now take your right leg up. We want to have our hips like headlights facing straight forward. Make that right leg super straight. Good. Engage your quad muscle so you're going to pull up on your patella or your kneecap. Let your toes reach back towards your nose. So think of your heel reaching forward and your right sits bone back and lift up on your kneecap. So engaging those right quads. We're going to feel an awesome stretch. Take your hands wherever is comfortable here. You could take it on your leg. You could take it down to the power plate or on the handle. We just want to really make that leg as straight as possible, shooting the heel forward as the sit bone pulls back, lifting up on the kneecap, going deep into the stretch. Stretching on the power plate is just so awesome. It feels so great, and it's an amazing way to really enhance flexibility. All right, we're almost done with our minute-long hamstring stretch. You guys are doing great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press repeat, bend the right standing leg. Now we're going into a minute long hip flexor stretch. Have that knee right over the ankle, hips are still square to the front and take your hands wherever's comfortable. They can go on the power plate, they can go on the handles. You could take your hands on either side of the leg, just whatever feels better for you. Your back leg wants to be straight, squeeze the left glute, pull the belly button in tight, and you're going to really feel a hip flexor stretch on the front of that left hip area. The hip flexor is a pretty big muscle that goes from your lower five lumbar all the way to your upper inner thigh. It's also kind of that front groin area. So we want to really keep the hips square and come down as low as you feel comfortable. The more you squeeze that left glute, contracting the glute and pull the belly button in, the more you're going to feel the left hip flexor muscle because those are opposing muscles. So when they tighten, it automatically stretches the hip flexor. Awesome. You guys are doing great. We're almost done with that minute long hip flexor stretch. Okay. For comfort, take a pad and place it on top of the power plate here next. So this um, pad's going to make it more comfortable for your hands. Hit repeat. We're going to take both of our hands on the power plate and come into an upside down letter V stretch. Let's hold here. Feels very good. Just stretching the backside. You can kind of walk your knees out if you'd like, bend and stretch at the knees. Awesome. It feels really great. Come into like a plank position and then let your pelvis lower down if you'd like. Look up, stretching the whole front of the body. Come back into an upside down letter V stretch. Let your head completely hang between the arms. This feels really great. You can walk it out in those knees. Just getting stretching and centering here before the end of class. Come back into a plank. Come back into that nice front body stretch, looking upward. Feels super good. Awesome. Come back into that upside down letter V. Walk your feet in close. Take your hands down to the floor to meet the feet. Let your head be totally relaxed here. We're going to slowly walk our hands up. Awesome job. Now that class is over, there's spray bottles and towels. Please spray down your mat and equipment and just return your equipment back to where you got it. Have an awesome day.